so given that y so I just write it because I think this one is quite small right so x cubed plus 3x squared minus 9x plus 2 find the possible coordinates of a when dy over dx is equal to 0 then okay never mind we just do this first so we, because we can see second derivative here but if we don't have the first derivative we cannot proceed to this one okay so d this is y so dy over dx so means we differentiate y so here to differentiate we bring the power forward so 3 because this one is actually 1 so we are going to bring forward and multiply with constant but this one without a constant you just take the power 3x and then we minus the power with 1 so just write 3 minus 1 right okay done plus so here we have 3 2 we bring forward times with 3 we get 6 so x now we minus the power with 1 okay done with second one and then we have minus here 9x the one with x we know that x is power of 1 power of 1 will become so here 1 minus 1 is actually power of 0 which is equal to 1 so we just take the constant and constant become 0 okay so here 3x square plus 6x minus 9 so this one is dy over dx so it wanted to know possible outcome of a where dy over dx is equal to 0 so when this one is equal to 0 so 0 is equal to 3 so you here we can take out 3 right because this one 3 3 3 so x square plus 2x minus 3 so here 3 so here we have negative 3 so basically we have 3 times 1 so we see this one is positive right so x plus 3 x minus 1 so here so here, this one positive 2 means the add up only this one you get positive 2 so we know that this one must be positive this one must be negative but you can just use calculator for this one so here we see here so we get x plus 3 is equal to 0 x is equal to negative 3 so this one x minus 1 is equal to 0 so x is equal to 1 so we have two value here x is equal to negative 3 and x is equal to 1 so we wanted to find coordinates right coordinates means it is x and y now we have the value of x we can find the value of y so substitute from here so here when x is equal to negative 3 y is equal to so you just use the original equation here so x power of 3 negative 3 power of 3 plus 3 negative 3 power of 2 minus 9 negative 3 plus 2 so basically you are supposed to get 29 so when x is equal to 1 y is equal to 1 cube plus 3 1 square minus 9 1 plus 2 so you see i basically substitute all the value of x with one so here supposed to get negative three now you have the coordinates so possible coordinates of a so it can be here negative three and 29 or this one which is one and so this one is one and negative three then find the value of d square y over d x square at point a so we know this one is second derivative so we can differentiate from this one dy over dx to get d square y over dx square so this one so this one is 3 so here dy over dx is equal to 3x square plus 6x minus 9 right so when we differentiate so 2 times 3 is 6x plus so 6x we get 6 negative 9 we get 0 right okay now we have d square right over dx square so it wanted this second derivative at point a so we can see to get this value we need to know what is our x and we know that this one at point a x x can be either negative 3 or 1 so here when x is equal to negative 3 d square y over d x square is equal to 6 so x is negative 3 plus 6 
So negative 18 plus 6, you get negative 12. Okay. And when x is equal to 1, d squared y over dx squared is equal to 6. This one is 1 plus 6. So we get 12. So this is the value of d squared y over dx squared at point A.